She is a Parma teenager with a world-class distinction. Lauren DeLuca is heading to the Paralympics in Brazil. And she is the only American to qualify. The U.S. women's wheelchair fencing champ told Megan Hickey what it means to represent Northeast Ohio and her country in September. Countless hours in this gym. Ready? Fence. Led 16 year old Lauren DeLuca to another gym in Sao Paulo, Brazil last month. <laughs> and a moment like this at the Paralympic qualifier. <laughs> Lauren is number one in the nation in epee and foil wheelchair fencing, but it almost never happened. DeLuca was born with cerebral palsy, so the left side of her body is much weaker than the right. She started fencing on two feet, but when her disability started slowing her down, she said she thought about giving up. So it was kind of sad. I was actually thinking about quitting fencing, and then I was approached with this opportunity, and I took it. So DeLuca transitioned from two feet to two wheels. Great, you want to check distance? Mm -hmm. And it turned out her core strength and speed made for a world-class combination. You got to be able to maintain good form while you're doing things at a very, very fast pace. And, and Lauren is very fast as a fencer, very fast. <laughs> Her parents, Steve and Tracy DeLuca, told me they never considered Lauren's cerebral palsy a roadblock. And her international gold medal win last month was proof. To me, it's just mind blowing, and uh, I don't know if she realizes uh, the importance of all that. Lauren arrived back in the U.S. two weeks ago, and she says her Paralympics dream is just starting to sink in because she had to finish her final exams first. This U.S. champ is still in high school, after all. I went through some meetings for the games, like, oh, I'm actually going. This is, this is, this is happening. Lauren will be heading to Rio for the Paralympics in September, and she's already looking ahead to 2020. Megan Hickey, News Channel 5.